I know you guys have different points than what I have. What I want you guys to do is, it's asking us to find the equation of the line, right? So to write the equation of the line, we know the equation of the line so far we've worked on y equals mx plus b. Now I also showed you guys the point slope form, but you guys said you didn't like that so you threw it out the window. So let's just focus on y equals mx plus b, okay? So we know the equation of the line we can write as y equals mx plus b. So we know that m is our slope and b is our y-intercept, right? I've said that so many times you should almost be sick of me saying it and hearing it from me because I just keep on reminding you. m is your slope, b is your y-intercept. So if I'm given two points and I say write the equation on the line, from what we're given information, do we know what the slope is or do we know what the y-intercept is? Oh, we know the y-intercept. Well, yes, and I'll actually, I'm not going to tell you right now what the y-intercept is, even though some of you I know already picked up on it, but a lot of the points that you guys have, you don't have the y-intercept, do you? Right? You don't know exactly what the y-intercept is just by looking at your points. For this one, some of you might have already noticed what the y-intercept is, which I'll talk about after I'm done. So if we don't know what the y-intercept is, nor do we know what the slope is, we're going to have to find those by using the two points. So one of the things we can look at, Catherine, is to find the slope, we can go back to our slope formula. So what I'd like you guys to do for all your points that you wrote down is let's label them x1, x2. And then I'd like you to label your points, Nicolette, y1, y2. And the reason why we label them x1 and x2 and y1 and y2 is because we want to make sure we distinguish, we want to make sure we distinguish between the x's. This is an x-coordinate, and that's an x-coordinate, as well as that's a y-coordinate, and that's a y-coordinate. So we got to make sure that, we're, um, that we distinguish them to the two x's. So then if I want to find the slope, I'll use the slope formula. So m, remember, equals y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So you guys can write down the slope formula. And everybody should have their slopes labeled. Now what I'd like you to do is find the slope of your problem. Okay? For me to find the slope of my problem, I have to plug in y2 for y2 and my y1 for here. So my problem is going to look like this. Negative 7 minus 3 all over 0 minus a negative 5. So that's what my problem looks like. Write down what your problem is going to look like. This is an interactive. I told you guys this is a game, right? This is a fun game. You guys need some. Oh, you guys need some thinking music, don't you? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, thinking music. <laughs> okay. So you plug in the numbers. Now you do negative seven minus three, which is a negative ten. Zero minus a negative five is going to give me a positive five. Negative 10 divided by 5 equals a negative 2. Therefore, my slope is m equals negative 2. Now, some of you guys might get a fraction as your slope. All right, I don't know. You guys all are doing different problems. But just make sure you guys label your points, plug them in, and then find your slope. All right? Now, the next thing is once you've done that, now what we need to do is we need to figure out, well, what's our y-intercept? We know our slope. So if I was going to now write my equation on my line, I know the slope for my problem is now negative 2. But I don't know what b is. Okay. So what we did before, do you guys remember last class period? What we worked on was finding b when given a slope and a point. And to do that, what we had to do was we had to plug in a point into our equation. Right? You plugged in one of these points into your equation. Now here, we have two points. So we need to pick which point should we plug in. Or it doesn't really matter. And the kind of the question is, since both these points lie on our line, 
they're both going to make our equation equal, meaning it doesn't matter which equation we choose. So let me let me prove my point. So if I do y equals a negative 2x plus b, and y equals negative 2x plus b. Now you guys don't have to do twice. I just like you to do it for one point. What I want you to do is pick one point for you to plug into your equation. I'm going to do it for both to show you, but you guys don't need to do that. So take one of your points, so you guys found your slope, right? Whatever your slope is, put it into your equation. y equals the slope you found times x plus b. Then let's rewrite it and plug in one of our points. Let's plug in x1, y1. Okay, so I'll plug in 3 equals um, negative 5. I'm sorry, my slope is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 5 plus b. Or you could have chosen your other point. And my other point was negative 7 equals negative 2 times 0 plus b. Doesn't matter which point you pick because watch. Negative 2 times negative 5 is a positive 10. Plus b. Subtract 10. Negative 7 equals b. Over here, I have negative 7 equals negative 2 times 0, so negative 7 equals b. Both of them equal negative 7. b equals negative 7. So then, since I know b equals negative 7, I plug it in right there. And then guys, remember what was our final, what was our, what was our question asking? Write the equation in y equals mx plus b4. Is this now in y equals mx plus b4? Yes. So even though we were not given the slope or the y-intercept, we did the slope formula to find the slope. Then we used the slope and a point to plug it into our equation to find the y-intercept. Okay? So now the next thing I want you to do is to listen. And then we're done.